Fellow lions and friends, welcome to the day three of the plenary session. We have a lot of interesting programs lined up for you today too. Our distinguished international vice presidents and the union minister will address us. Now I invite international director Lain R. Sampath for calling the session to order and address the lions. I am honored to call this second plenary session of Virtual Isomi Forum 2020. It is a new experience for all of us in conducting Isomi Forum virtually. Thanks to the pandemic situation, the COVID-19 has proved we lines would overcome any difficulties and continue our journey as usual. I call this plenary session to order. International President, Vice Presidents, Honorable Union Minister of State for Home Affairs, Sri G. Kishan Reddy, Past International Director Line Vijay Kumar Raju, LCA Chief of Technology Dr. Bala Balachander, LCA Legal Division General Counsel Mr. David Kingsbury, Past International Presidents, My Colleague International Directors Line J.P. Singh, Line Dr. Naval J. Malu, Line Muhammad Adris, Line Kazi Akramuddin Agamad, and Line VP Nanda Kumar, Past International Directors, Multiple Council Chairpersons, District Governors, Vice District Governors, Past District Governors, Fellow Lines and Friends, Good evening to all. At the outset, I express my thanks and appreciation to Past International Director, Line Vijay Kumar Raju, who has host committee chairperson has made excellent arrangements for this virtual forum meeting. We are all honored to have admitted us the Honorable Union Minister of State for Home Affairs, Sri G. Kishan Reddy. He is a seasoned politician and parliamentarian. His contribution during his tenure as member of legislature thrives to the society. Particularly, children has invited the attention. UNICEF by conferring him the award of Child Friendly Legislator. He is also a recipient of Outstanding Youth Leadership Award and a medal for his contribution towards global peace. Like all of you, I am awaiting to hear his address. I welcome you, sir. In this session, we have amongst us the LCI Chief of Technology, Dr. Bala Balachander who is instrumental in bringing a lot of radical changes in my LCI. The changes are user-friendly and welcomed by club officers. I welcome you, sir. The other personality amongst us is the LCI Legal Division General Counsel, Mr. David Kingsbury. His vast knowledge in legal matters is guiding us in the right direction. Whenever we need support, and guidance from him. His actions are a great motivation to all of us. My dear friends, the coronavirus crisis is changing the way we live and work, but it hasn't changed who we are. It has not affected our membership growth thanks to the support and guidance of the Membership Development Committee chaired by International Director 
Dr. Naval J. Malu, and all the leaders in Islami area are uniting in supporting the Campaign 100 program to build a more promising future for the world together. We encourage all lines to make a gift to LCAF and all the clubs to support our foundation. Specialty clubs are a great way to express those interests and form unique bonds with other members and the community. Our district leaders give priority to the formation of specialty clubs. Our members represent nearly every culture, background, and generation on earth. We lines are so much more than just a group of volunteers. We are pillars of our communities. That's because we serve where we live. We hope that when someone sees our logo, no matter where they are in the world, they will know that we are there, serving with kindness, making a difference and bringing hope. Before concluding, once again, I welcome you all for this wonderful session. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you very much. I bovan Namaste Wanakam Asalaam Alaikum Presiding Officer, International President, Dignitaries and Friends. It is indeed a privilege for me to participate in this very first virtual Isame Forum. And my thanks are due to past director Vijay Kumar Raju, the chairman of the organizing committee for inviting me to address this session. Friends, the unprecedented coronavirus pandemic has made the entire world go into various forms of curfews and lockdowns. In this scenario, it has become very difficult for Lions to physically meet each other, which is an integral part of the fellowship, which is one of the main planks on which Lionism is based together with the other plank of service which we are committed to, signified by our motto, we serve. Lions all over the world have considered the pandemic as an eventuality and endeavoured to utilise the crisis as an opportunity to communicate extensively using modern digital technology. This virtual forum is an outcome of such an effort and I congratulate past director Vijay Kumar Raju and his dynamic committee for organizing this first ever virtual forum of Isame using digital technology and marketing it very effectively so that a large number of participants are present for this digital forum. Isame is the largest constitutional area in the world of Lionism with a membership of over 351,000 members. The quality and value of impact of service has in uh, as projects on the community is well appreciated by the world of Lionism. Here by year, uh, Lions of Isame have not only improved the quality of service but succeeded in changing the lives of many deserving people. Although we are also the fastest growing area in membership globally with a total of around 351,000 members as at in November 2020, the growth is not all that well distributed in the various countries constituting Isame. 
all the indian multiple districts have showed a positive growth totaling 17070 with md3 to 4 giving leadership with a net positive growth of 6480 nepal continues to grow amazingly with a net growth of 7006 members achieving a total membership of 38180 bangladesh has also recorded a growth of 1563 Sri Lanka with plus 289 Pakistan with plus 446 and Middle East with plus 10 have not recorded very high levels of growth to an extent we must realize that the assam's high level of net growth of 26434 or 8.14% may be is leading as this year the international leadership by giving a generous waiver of entrance fees and charter fees and also allowing time till 31st december for existing members to pay outstanding international dues may have to an extent distorted the recorded large increases judging by the situation in my home country sri lanka i find that a large number of clubs are due for cancellation by 31st december if they do not pay the outstanding international dues it is quite likely that a similar situation prevails in other countries of assam the covid pandemic which has affected india very adversely and also all other islamic countries has made it a challenge not only to increase membership by recruiting new members but even to retain existing members however islam has been able to form 757 new clubs but unfortunately dropped 281 clubs as at end october achieving a net growth of 476 new clubs we have also added 81162 new members as at end october and dropped 42163 members with a net growth of plus 38999 retention of members continues to be a very serious challenge as the above figures indicate that the dropout percentage compared to intake is around 52% as at october 2020 the real challenge is to ensure the least number of clubs are cancelled due to non payment as at 31st december 2020 it is apparent that first half 2021 is also going to be a difficult period with many global medical specialists predicting a third wave of the pandemic of the pandemic in february march 2021 hopefully by march april vaccinations will be available but cannot be expected to cover even 70 to 80% of the population of our respective countries which is a level at which herd immunity is expected to occur lions international has met many serious societal challenges in the past which we have overcome and i am confident that we'll be able to overcome this horrendous pandemic too i wish all of you the very best in the future and plead that you follow all covid prevention protocols to minimize the possibility of infection and continue your holistic endeavors with renewed vigor i go on